Go ahead and bring in Harvard professor Avi Loeb. Uh, we have waited to be able to talk to you about this 3i Atlas. NASA just held the most disappointing press conference ever about 3i Atlas, the massive interstellar visitor that's been baffling scientists for months. While officials showed fuzzy, useless images and insisted everything was normal, amateur astronomers were capturing incredible shots of mysterious jets shooting millions of kilometers into space. This thing is a million times bigger than the first interstellar object we found, perfectly aligned with our solar system and made of materials that shouldn't exist naturally. So what exactly is NASA hiding? Is 3i Atlas really just a comet or is something else entirely heading straight for our planet? The NASA press conference that nobody expected much from. On November 19, 2025, NASA held what many hoped would be a groundbreaking press conference about the mysterious interstellar visitor known as 3i Atlas. Harvard professor Avi Loeb had been asked just an hour before what he expected to hear. His response was brutally honest. He didn't think there would be any big news. NASA would probably just repeat their usual line that 3i Atlas was a natural comet, blame the government shutdown for delays, and show another fuzzy image that wouldn't tell us much of anything new. Sadly, Loeb turned out to be completely right. The press conference delivered exactly what Loeb predicted. NASA officials stood behind their podium and told the world that 3i Atlas was behaving like any other comet. They explained that the delay in releasing data was because of the government shutdown, which had prevented their teams from processing the information until recently. The whole event felt like watching someone read from a script that had been written weeks earlier, with no room for the kind of scientific curiosity that makes discoveries possible. What made this particularly frustrating was the timing. This wasn't just any space rock flying through our solar system. This was only the third interstellar object ever discovered, and it had some seriously weird properties that deserved much more attention than they were getting. The first interstellar visitor, one I Oumuamua, had caused a huge stir in the scientific community because of its strange behavior. The second one, to I Borisov seemed more normal, but was still fascinating. Now we had 3i Atlas, and instead of diving deep into its mysteries, NASA seemed content to file it away as just another comet, what NASA actually showed us. The main attraction of the press conference was supposed to be new images from the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. This camera had captured 3i Atlas on October 3rd, when it was about 30 million kilometers away. The image showed exactly what Loeb had predicted, a fuzzy ball of light that didn't reveal much about the object's true nature. The resolution was 30 kilometers per pixel, which sounds pretty good, until you realize that any details smaller than that would be completely invisible. Making things worse, the spacecraft had been jittery during the observation, which spread the light from 3i Atlas across several pixels. Imagine trying to take a sharp photo while riding on a bumpy road, and you'll get the idea. The result was an image that looked more like a smudged thumbprint than a detailed view of an interstellar visitor. NASA also released images from other space telescopes, including data from these were even less clear than the high-rise image. The only genuinely new piece of scientific information which detected hydrogen in the object's vicinity using ultraviolet light. This wasn't completely surprising, since hydrogen often comes from water molecules breaking apart when they're hit by sunlight. But it was a tiny addition to what scientists already knew from observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope the James Webb Space Telescope, and SphereX earlier in the year. What struck many observers as odd was how NASA presented this limited data as if it solved all the mysteries surrounding 3i Atlas. They emphasized that the object was shedding gas and dust like any normal comet, and that it responded to gravity in predictable ways. But this kind of surface behavior doesn't necessarily tell us what's underneath that outer layer. A technological object that had been traveling through cold interstellar space for millions of years could easily pick up a coating of dust and ice that would make it look exactly like a natural comet when the sun started heating it up. 
the strange case of nickel without iron. One of the most puzzling things about 3i Atlas involves its chemical makeup, specifically the detection of nickel without a corresponding amount of iron. In normal space objects, these two metals go hand in hand because they're created together inside exploding stars. When scientists look at asteroids, comets, or meteorites, they expect to see iron and nickel in roughly the same proportions that exist throughout our solar system. But 3i Atlas breaks this rule in a big way. The first detection of nickel from 3i Atlas came with almost no iron at all, just an upper limit that suggested there might be some there but not nearly enough to match the nickel. This created an extremely unusual ratio that had never been seen before in any comet. It's like finding a recipe that calls for equal parts flour and sugar, but then discovering a cake made almost entirely of sugar with barely any flour. The proportions just don't make sense based on what we know about how these ingredients are supposed to be mixed in nature. The only place scientists regularly see nickel-rich materials with very little iron is in human-made alloys, particularly those designed for aerospace applications. These specialized metals are created through industrial processes that can separate and concentrate specific elements. Of course, finding nickel-rich material doesn't automatically mean something is artificial, but it does raise questions about how such an unusual composition could occur naturally. NASA's response to this anomaly was to suggest that 3i Atlas simply came from a different environment than other comets we've studied. They treated the unusual chemistry as just another example of how objects from other star systems might be different from what we're used to. But this explanation glosses over how truly rare this type of composition is. When something breaks the rules this dramatically, it deserves more investigation, not less. Size matters. Why 3 Eatsai Atlas is impossibly big. Perhaps the most mind-boggling thing about 3 Iwi Atlas is its sheer size. Based on all the observations collected so far, the object appears to be at least 5 kilometers across, and possibly even larger. That might not sound like much compared to planets or moons, but for an interstellar visitor, it's absolutely massive. To put this in perspective, 3i Atlas is about a thousand times more massive than 2i Borisov, the previous interstellar comet discovered in 2019. Even more shocking, it's roughly a million times more massive than 1i Oumuamua, the first interstellar object ever found. This creates a serious statistical problem. If interstellar objects follow the same size distribution as asteroids and comets in our own solar system, we should see lots of small ones for every big one. Think of it like finding pebbles on a beach. For every large rock, there should be hundreds of medium-sized stones and thousands of tiny pebbles. But with interstellar visitors, we've somehow managed to find the equivalent of a boulder before finding hardly any pebbles at all. The math is pretty stark. If 3 IMA Atlas represents a typical large interstellar object, then statistically, we should have discovered about a thousand objects the size of 2 I Borisov and about a million objects the size of 1 Iumuamua before finding something as big as 3 I Atlas. The fact that we found the giant first suggests either incredible luck or that our assumptions about these objects are completely wrong. This size problem becomes even more puzzling when you consider how these objects are supposed to form and travel through space. Larger objects should be much rarer because they require more material and energy to escape from their home star system. It's like expecting to catch a whale in a fishing net designed for minnow. The fact that we caught the whale first without seeing many minnows suggests something unusual is going on that we don't understand yet. The miracle alignment that should have been impossible. Another incredibly unlikely aspect of 3i Atlas is how perfectly its path through our solar system aligned with the orbital plane of our planets. This alignment, known as the ecliptic plane, is like a flat disk where all the major planets orbit around the Sun. Most objects that come from interstellar space arrive at random angle, making them difficult to observe with our telescopes and spacecraft. But 3i Atlas came in almost perfectly aligned with this plane. The probability of such perfect alignment happening by chance is only about two-tenths of a percent. That's like flipping a coin 
and having it land on its edge instead of heads or tails. It can happen, but it's so unlikely that you'd be suspicious if you saw it happen repeatedly. This alignment was incredibly fortunate for NASA because it meant that many of their observatories and spacecraft could easily point their instruments at the object without having to make difficult adjustments. Normally, when an interstellar visitor arrives at a steep angle to the ecliptic plane, it becomes much harder to study. Spacecraft designed to observe planets and asteroids in our solar system aren't always able to twist and turn to look at objects coming from unusual directions. But 3i Atlas made itself available for observation by practically every NASA mission that wanted to look at it. The Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, Mars orbiters, and various other instruments could all easily track the object as it moved through the solar system. While NASA officials were clearly happy about this stroke of good fortune, they didn't spend much time discussing just how unlikely it was. In a normal press conference about such an unusual alignment, you might expect scientists to at least acknowledge the remarkable coincidence. Instead, they seem to take it for granted, as if perfectly aligned interstellar visitors show up every day. This missed opportunity to highlight the statistical oddity reflects a broader pattern of downplaying the truly unusual aspects of this object. Amateur astronomers beat NASA at their own game. While NASA was releasing fuzzy images that didn't show much detail, amateur astronomers around the world were capturing far more interesting pictures of 3i Atlas. After the object made its closest approach to the Sun on October 29th, these dedicated sky watchers started noticing something remarkable. Their telescopes, which cost a tiny fraction of what NASA spends on space missions, were revealing details that the official images had missed completely. The amateur images showed something that should have been front and center in NASA's press conference. Multiple jets of material shooting out from 3i Atlas in different directions. These weren't the faint, barely visible wisps you might expect from a normal comet. They were tightly focused streams of material that stretched for nearly a million kilometers in some cases. That's more than twice the distance from Earth to the Moon, making these jets absolutely enormous by any standard. What made these jets even more interesting was how straight and narrow they appeared. Normal comets do produce jets when the sun heats their surface, but these jets typically look messy and spread out. They wiggle and change direction as the comet rotates, creating curved or spiral patterns. But the jets from 3i Atlas looked almost artificially precise, like someone had aimed a garden hose into space and kept it perfectly steady. The fact that amateur astronomers could capture these details while NASA's expensive equipment showed only blobs of light raised serious questions about what else might have been missed. The contrast between the amateur images and NASA's official releases couldn't have been more striking. Here were people using relatively simple telescopes in their backyards, producing images that were genuinely exciting and scientifically valuable. Meanwhile, a multi-billion dollar space agency was showing the world pictures that revealed almost nothing new. It was like watching a group of kids with magnifying glasses discover something that escaped the attention of professional detectives with all their high-tech equipment. The jets that don't make sense. The jets visible in the amateur images created another major puzzle that NASA's press conference completely ignored. Normal comets rotate as they travel through space, typically completing one full rotation every few hours or days. As they rotate, any jets coming from their surface should appear to wiggle back and forth, creating curved or spiral patterns in the material they're shooting out. It's like watching water spray from a rotating sprinkler, where the stream traces out arcs and curves as the sprinkler head turns. But the jets from 3i Atlas didn't behave this way at all. Despite the fact that the object appears to rotate once every 16 hours, the jets remained remarkably straight and focused. The material in these jets was moving fast enough that it should have shown clear signs of the rotation, creating visible curves or spirals in their path. Instead, they looked almost like laser beams shooting out into space with minimal spreading or deviation. This behavior is extremely difficult to explain using normal comet physics. 
When ice on a comet's surface gets heated by sunlight, it turns directly into gas and shoots out into space, carrying dust particles along with it. But this process is usually messy and turbulent, especially when the comet is spinning. The fact that 3 I Atlas can produce such tightly controlled jets suggests either some very unusual internal structure or a mechanism for directing the material that we don't understand. The straightness of these jets becomes even more puzzling when you consider the range of directions they're pointing. Some appear to shoot directly toward the sun, while others point away from it, and still others seem to go off at various angles. If these were normal comet jets, you'd expect them all to point roughly away from the sun, since that's where the heating is coming from. The multi-directional nature of the jets, combined with their unusual straightness, creates a pattern that's very hard to explain with conventional comet behavior. What happens next could change everything. The coming weeks represent the most important period for studying 3I Atlas since it was first discovered. On December 19th, the object will make its closest approach to Earth, bringing it near enough for our most powerful telescopes to examine it in unprecedented detail. This includes not just ground-based observatories with mirrors several meters across, but also the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope, both of which will Will have excellent viewing opportunities. During this close approach, scientists will finally be able to analyze the composition, speed, and other properties of those mysterious jets in detail. They'll be able to measure exactly what chemicals are being ejected, how fast the material is moving, and how much mass is being lost from the object. Most importantly, they'll be able to determine whether these jets are being produced by natural processes like ice sublimation or by something more unusual like technological thrusters. The data collected during this period could definitively settle the question of what 3 I Atlas really is. If the jets turn out to be made of the same materials you'd expect from melting ice, and if their behavior matches what computer models predict for natural comets, then the mystery will largely be solved. But if the jets show signs of artificial control, unusual chemical compositions, or impossible physics, then we'll have to seriously consider other explanations for what this object might be. Scientists are also planning to search for any smaller objects that might have separated from 3I Atlas during its journey. If this is indeed a technological artifact, it's possible that it could have released smaller probes or fragments that are now traveling on independent paths toward Mars or Earth. NASA's Mars rovers and orbiters, along with Earth-based satellites and telescopes, will be watching carefully for any signs of such companions. The Galileo project, which specifically searches for evidence of technological artifacts in space, will also be contributing observations during this critical period. Whatever 3I Atlas turns out to be, the next few weeks will likely provide the definitive answer to one of the most intriguing mysteries in modern astronomy. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.